I'm Peter Hink, and for this segment of Florida Sportsman's Seminars, we'll be talking about how to rig a kayak for your first time or for any of you guys that got a brand new kayak. These suggestions will help you rig it up and rig it right. My first suggestion is keep it simple. Don't try to load up too much on there. Go with the basics. First thing I like to do when I get a new kayak, and this is a new one, first time on the water, is that I get my vest. Always make sure you wear a vest, whether it's an inflatable vest or a regular kayak vest or whatever type it is. It's Coast Guard approved and that uh, you do wear it. It's not going to do any good if it's stuck underneath the bungees. Also, make sure you have a whistle. Like I say, if you're out there, especially if you're new to this, you get in trouble and your buddy's, you know, 50 yards into the wind and uh, you yell, chances are he can't hear you. But if you blow on this, you know, this goes a long way. It, they, they will hear you. First thing I'd like you to do before you even put a rod on your kayak or any tackle is get in the boat, paddle around, get a good feel. Spend about an hour or so paddling around, see what it will do. If you're planning to stand and fish, get in into it, stand up, and go ahead and rock it a little bit. See what it's going to take to roll it. Kayak fishing is kind of like being on a bicycle for the first time. You know, chances are you're going to fall your first time ever riding a bike. Kayaks, it could happen. They're very stable though, so chances are you will not, but you need to know what your limitations are. Like I say, I like to get in to a kayak. I like to pedal around, see what it'll do. If I'm looking to stand, check with your kayak dealers and say, hey, I want to stand and sight fish. He'll help pick out the right kayak. Some kayaks have good characteristics for standing. Some are just not designed for it. This one is, like I say, it's no problem. I'll stand up in water. I'll get the feel. I'll rock it. I'll see what it is if I have to turn twist, reach for any gear. It's always a good thing to do before you put your gear in there. It could save you a lot of gear and a lot of money. Next of all, I want to talk about the paddle. You know, get a paddle, a decent paddle if you can. This one here is a beginning kayak fishing paddle. Aluminum shaft, plastic blades, it does just fine. One thing I do suggest very strongly is get a leash. This holds your paddle to your kayak. Even if you have the clips that clip onto the side of your kayak, you go ahead and you clip it on there, you get a big tarpon or a big snook, it smashes up against that paddle and knocks it loose. If you don't have a leash on there, it's a good chance that tarpon's going to pull you this way, your paddle's going to go the other way. And stuck without a paddle, you are in trouble. So, good paddle, get a leash, and you're pretty much ready to go. When I first start out, all I do is put one rod holder on my kayak. I like to get the feel of what works, what doesn't work. And I always like to put my first rod holder up front, either a side mount here on the track system or here, most of them will fit right, right, right in the center. Either way, it's a good outfit, it works really well. It gives you an opportunity to fish the water and get used to the kayak itself. Here's the rod. Couple reasons why I like the rod up front. First of all, easy to reach for. If you're new to kayak fishing, you're sitting in your chair, you go to reach behind you, that can be awkward. Sometimes that throws your balance off. I've seen some guys, usually when they roll out of a kayak, they're reaching for something in back. That's why, especially when you first start, keep all your gear up front, easy to access. The rod up front works for two reasons. I like to troll, it's right up front. If I'm trolling, if I hit a fish, I'm able to grab that rod out of the rod holder real quick, reel them in, without any trouble. Sometimes when they're in the rear rod holder, I get a strike by the time I turn around and sometimes, you know, you got a 20 pound snook pulling on the rod, it's very difficult to get that rod out. And many times I've lost a few fish because I just could not get that rod out of that rod holder. I lost some momentum, line went slack just for a second, I lost a fish. So I like to keep the rod up here. As far as fishing gear, a little soft pack, this is all you need, <laughs> especially if you're starting. A little pack of lures like this, this has a compartment, it'll fit right here. A lot of fishing kayaks have little segments where you can put a little gear box. This also has got my pliers, it's got fishing line, pretty much set. You don't need much. And uh, just because you only have one rod, a little pack of uh, lures doesn't mean you can't catch fish. You can catch a lot of fish. I can fish basically for a whole week with what's in this pack. Catch a lot of snook, a lot of trout, and here it's bass fishing time, so I catch a lot of largemouth too. So you don't need a lot, start simple, keep it easy, and then you can build from there. Some people see my videos and now I got uh, my offshore videos where I got fish finders, I'm carrying seven rods and a whole nine yards. You don't need that to go out there and catch a lot of fish. So keep it simple when you begin, go out, have a lot of fun, 
and uh, enjoy yourself and go out there and catch some fish.